Hi guys, welcome back to our course on NumPy. In last video, we started the reshape method and today we are gonna continue it. So let's get started. Now let's see whether reshape method returns a copy or it returns a view. So let me open my terminal. So I'm gonna import NumPy as NP. I'm gonna hit enter. Now let me create an array. So array name is equal to np.array and I'm gonna pass a list to it as usual. I'm gonna hit enter. So array has been created. Now I'm gonna print array name or arr dot reshape. I'm gonna give the parameters and I'm gonna add an attribute base to it which is used to check whether it's a copy or it's a view. So it gave me an error because the array cannot be converted because size is 9 and the shape is 8. So I change it to 3 comma 3 and I have written another command print array name dot three shape and parameters are three and three and added the attribute base to it and I got the result as the original array and not none. So since I got the result as the original array, this is a view. This is not a copy. Now you might be wondering what if dimensions are unknown? So we are allowed to have one unknown dimension. It means that we don't have to specify an exact number for one of the dimension in V-shape method. Instead, we pass minus one and NumPy calculates the dimension for us. So we know that number of elements is equal to product of the parameters. So if we have two parameters, the calculation will be number of element divided by the remaining parameters. Now let's see an example through a code. So I have opened my terminal once again. I'm gonna write Python 3, hit enter, and I'm gonna import numpy as np. So I'm gonna create an array again. So array name is equal to np.array and I'm gonna pass a Python list to it. So NumPy array has been created successfully. Now I'm gonna write new array name or new ARR equal to current array name or ARR dot reshape. And I'm gonna pass two comma two and minus one. So this parameter will be calculated automatically. Let's see how. So I'm gonna print ARR, that is original array, and new array, that is print bracket, new ARR, so this is the new array. Now I'm gonna print the shape of the new array. And hit enter after closing the brackets sorry I have added an extra pair of bracket let me just correct it so I'm gonna write the command again so the answer is 2 comma 2 comma dot comma 2 so the numpy has automatically calculated third parameter now let's move on to the next topic that is flattening the arrays so what is flattening? Flattening array means converting a multidimensional array into a 1D array. We use reshape and in bracket minus one method to do it. So, so the syntax is array name dot reshape and in bracket we have to pass minus one. Let's see an example. So I've opened my terminal and I'm gonna import numpy. 
as np let me create a 2d array for flattening so arr2 is equal to np dot array and i'm gonna pass two 1d arrays as the elements of a 2d array so i have created a 2d array now i'm gonna print the Sorry, the array name is ARR2. So let me correct it and print the original array. And now I'm going to print the shape of the original array. So it is 2 comma 4. That is 2 elements in first dimension and 4 elements in the second dimension. So 2 rows and 4 columns. So now I'm going to reshape it. And now I'm going to print the new array. So you can see I've got a 1D array or a flattened array. I'm going to print its shape as well. So you can see that, that the shape is 8 elements in first dimension. That's all for today. This video is brought to you by Programming Knowledge. Please like, comment, share, subscribe and hit the bell button for updates and stay tuned with us for more videos on the series. Thank you.